Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and currently focusing on iClone 8 and today I've got a quick tutorial on how to get smooth uh, camera follows. Now this is quite important when you're doing car scenes over bumpy terrains uh, you're really going to want to kind of use this plugin, it's very very useful so what you want to do is you want to kind of load up your scene in your car and we're going to use this terrain, the canyon. So there's, you know, quite a few bumps and what we're going to do is we're going to go over this bump and then we're going to get the camera to follow that smoothly. So if I just hit play, that will start driving and we'll just let that drive over that bump. May turn it a little bit. Okay, so um, it's got stuck, but it will get over. So I'm doing this all in real time, guys. So just to kind of show you guys exactly how to do it. Okay, so we've run out of timeline, so we'll just use that for now. So we'll go back. And if I just turn off the bullet engine and put that back to physics and hit real time, we'll be able to play that back. So we'll just see that motion. So kind of instead of um, boring you guys with watching that back, I'll just show you basically what to do. So uh, usually you'd create camera. And then you'd attach that camera to the car. But as you're going to see now, the results we're going to get, you can see already that the screen's wobbling. And um, the car is only going slow, but if that was going faster, we'll see that more. But when it goes over this bump, you'll see now that the camera starts to move a bit funny, a bit weird. And, um, you know, it's not smooth. We, it's not following the car how we'd like it to follow the car. So uh, what you need to do is there's this really cool plugin that I, Reillusion have released. And um, it used to be available on 7 and they've recently just released the version for 8 and that's called Smooth Camera Follow. So you go down here into your plugins and in the Python samples, you'll see Smooth Camera Follow. Now I will link, uh, I will put a link down below in the description where you can download that from Reillusion. It is a free plugin. Now, why this is so cool is because what we can then do, if we just go to our camera and detach the camera from the car, just go into our scenes, or sorry, go into uh, the modifier tab actually and just go down to where it's attached, which should be down here and just say detach. Now, um, so now that should be detached. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this tool here, the smooth camera follow to really get some smooth camera follow. So if we just go up, uh, we've got our camera set here. So if we go into control linear camera, it's showing as none, it should really show our camera popping up there. So not too sure why that is. Let me just delete the camera and re-put a camera in. So if that happens, just delete the camera you've got, uh, re-put the camera, and hopefully that now should show in your camera control here. So just select that camera, and now that means that that camera has been selected. It will, uh, it will kind of do the smooth track and follow on that camera. And down here, we want to click the prop that we want it to follow, which is the SUV. So we click that. And now that has been selected and set up. Now, these controls here, frame delay and the tautness, these will basically kind of delay how long the camera begins the follow process. So we want to set this one quite low. I'd say about two. And the tautness, we also want to set quite low to about 0 0.2 or 3. We'll leave it about there for now. And then literally you're ready to go. So all you do is hit follow and then that will kind of calculate everything. So you just give it a second while it calculates. And as soon as that's done, you'll start to see that the camera will then begin to follow that car in a very smooth, cinematic way. And you know, it's a great, great plugin just for getting these really quick, smooth, uh, smooth camera shots. There's no kind of other way to do it. And as you saw from the earlier results, it does, um, you know, it does kind of give you weird results if you attach the camera to the car. So um, whilst this loads, we'll just give it a few seconds. Okay, so now that's done, 
we're getting some weird results here as you can see um, what we want to probably do is just zoom out a little bit and just reset our camera one of the things I forgot to mention is when you do set the camera in your desired position so we'll say here uh, you do have to click this button here use current offset and that will ensure that your camera offset has been saved so hopefully now if we start from the beginning we've used the offset and we hit follow again that should now that should now register smoothly so let's just see how that plays out and now we've got it we've got some really smooth um, camera follow as you can see um, so you know really really cool cool tool as you see now it goes up the hill the camera just follows that smoothly and you know really 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 good tool for getting these really smooth camera follows so you know really hope that helps I will link in the description where you can download this plugin from very easy to use as you can see and very cool way to get smooth motion following that camera really hope that helps guys and hopefully see you again soon for another tutorial Thank you.